I'm Jeremy. And I'm Deontay. And this is what's good at VHHS. HHS. First up, let's see who's on the money. Today, we playing a little quiz game called Guess Who's on the Dollar Bill? Who is on the Tony Dollar Bill? Benjamin Blake. No. Frank. <laughs> Benjamin? <laughs> no. <laughs> I swear to God. No, it's not because when you all about the Benjamins, are you from twenties when someone says that? Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> no. I swear to. No. 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 Andrew no. Jackson. Correct. Yeah, that's it. I can't Thank tell you that. The song, all about the Benjamins. Not the twenty. Um, not all about the Jacksons. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on the twenty dollar bill? Andrew Jackson. That is correct. Okay, so who is on the ten dollar bill? Uh, this guy. <laughs> um, and what's his name? Alex. Uh, hmm? Alex Alex no. Yeah, Alexander Hamilton, yeah. Correct. Right. Yeah. Hamilton. Is that right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't looked at cash in a long time, but everyone knows I have a lot of cash, so. Racks on racks on racks. Who's on a half a dollar coin? What is that man's name? Um, uh, George Washington, I don't know. <laughs> That's great. Who's on the half dollar coin? What? Kennedy? Yeah. <laughs> three for three. Who was on the dime? We have a face on the dime. Yes. I see to how much I look at my change. Um, I know he has like a skinny face. <laughs> Roosevelt? Correct. Who was on the two dollar movie? Jefferson, I don't know. Yeah. Oh! Wow. Nice! Uh, I'm doing. <laughs> Tom, Thomas, uh, Jefferson? What is on the $50 bill? Mm -hmm. That one. Remember we always just talked about it. That one dude, uh, the fourth one. The fourth president. <laughs> No, um, 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 um. Andrew something. No, 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 you're close. I'll, I'll say Alexander Hamilton. Yeah, that's okay. incorrect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, 30 seconds. Um, um, look, uh, Abraham Lincoln, I don't know. <laughs> 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 it's just that one. Incorrect. Oh, I'm right? No. Uh, <laughs> 50. Grant? Dang, perfect. Wow. Money is man tag ladder. Is what they call him. Next up, we have Don with two truths and a lie. All right, y'all ready? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So the first three, uh, George Washington had wooden dentures, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson stole a piece of chair from Shakespeare, and uh, James Madison only weighed 100 pounds. Um, the first one's true. I think the second one is false, and I think the third one's true. Sure. I think the second one's true, the first one's false, and the last one's true. All right, well... Uh, Shakira got that one because the first one was not true. His dentures were not made of wood. They were just really dirty. <laughs> oh, dang. 
<laughs> Gooey. John Adams and Thomas Jefferson both died on the same day. Andrew Jackson had a very well-mannered pet parrot, and Thomas Jefferson invented the swivel chair. True, true, and false. Uh, I'll go say first one is true. The last one, no, the first one's false. The second one's true. And what was the last one again? Thomas Jefferson invented the swivel chair. I think that's true too. All right, so it's actually the second one was false uh, because his he taught his pet parrot to swear a lot. So uh, it did. It was not well-mannered. No one got it right. Facts. Thomas Jefferson only gave two speeches during his presidency. Uh, Andrew Jackson participated in over 100 duels, and John Tyler was one of the most well-liked presidents in history. True, true, and false. True, false, false. There's only one that's false. Oh, man. What he said, true, true, false. Okay, well, yeah, that was right. Both yes. of you were right that time, man. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt was shot during a speech, but continued to speak for over an hour with a bullet in his chest. Uh, James Polk loved to party in the White House, and Zachary Taylor died from eating cherries. True, false, true. False, true, true. Uh, Nyan got that one, because yes. the second one was false. Uh, James Polk banned card playing, beer, and dancing from the White House. But how is the first one not true? How you die and you how you get no, shot? No, he didn't die. He just got shot. He got how shot while he was speaking, but then... That was way speaking. too detailed to be false. I seem like the... It looked like it was false because... I'm going to explain my part. Because how you speak with a bullet in your chest for over an hour... That's just what, what he did. He, he was fine, too. He, he kept knowing. He was a champ. So, like, he knew he got shot, right? Yeah, he knew. He, he said whenever he got shot during his speech, he said that he didn't care about getting shot and kept talking. Oh, wow. Whoa, wow. I don't uh, think right. it was false. Okay, I'm sorry. And then the last one is... I'm keeping score. All right. <laughs> Franklin Pierce was arrested for running over an old woman with his horse. Uh, Abraham Lincoln participated in almost 300 wrestling matches and only lost one. And George Bush had strong relations with the Japanese prime minister. True, false, true. True, true, false. Yeah, now I got that one too. Yes. It was, uh, oh George Bush goodness. threw up all over the prime minister at a party. <sighs> and that was all of them. What would you do if you were president? We found out next. If I was president, I would try and make everything fair. If I were president, I would make sure that everyone had equal rights. I would ensure the safety for all Americans. I would mainly focus on a better education system. I feel as though it's very unfair. If it's a poor area and the school taxes are so well and then the school's not getting enough funding, how do you think they're supposed to educate their students better if they don't have the right materials, the right books, transportation? How are students getting to schools? So how can you expect there to be better scores for a school to get more money if they're not even already originally provided that money? If I was president, I would make it that we only have four day work in school weeks because that's greatness. If I were president, I would make sure that everyone had equal rights. I would also give more funding to um, the foster care system and adoption and prioritize the um, homeless children and making sure that everyone has the appropriate shelter when they need it. I would also make it that you cannot discriminate against natural hair. If you don't know what the Crown Act is, look it up. Um, it's an issue throughout the United States, even though it, the act has passed in certain areas, but not everywhere. If I was president, the first thing I'd do is make sure that everyone had health care and equal access to it. Other things is that I'd start dealing with the pandemic a little better. And I would, let's see, okay, I think I would do something with the school loans Loan forgiveness, that's what I want. That's what I'm saying. I hope this can be edited. Okay, those are my 
three top. Right. Oh, wait, Thanks. wait, wait, wait. Medicare at the age of 60 instead of 65. Free health care for everyone, because that's the need. Um, student loans are stupid, so I would eliminate that. Um, you shouldn't have to pay and be in debt for your whole life to get a good education. That does not make sense to me. I think that's it for the most part. I, th I would go towards like the jail system too. The school to jail line is extremely thin. The schools are not teaching you how to be a correct citizen. And then if you don't have the right support at home and at school, how can you expect someone to not, you know, go to jail? The justice system is trash. Not just for people in general, but especially African Americans. Check the stats. If I was president, I would make it mandatory for all mothers and fathers to get a year off for maternity leave. Once you have a child, you are expected to like raise this child and not get paid while you're home with that child. And I think that's kind of like rough. So if parents were able to spend that year with their kid and truly raise them, I kind of think we will have a better outcome of our generation. Children will have better bonds with their families and I think that would affect the world tremendously. If I were president, I would not suck. If I were president, I would make LGBTQ rights legal. I will also not raise the tax, nor will I lower the tax. It will stay the same as it is now and go about how much you get paid. I will also work my hardest to get COVID to go away. It hurts that I'm not able to promise how long it will take, but altogether, I have to estimate about two more years. Vote Kalia for president. If you look at jail sentences, why is a pedophile getting less time, sometimes not even any time in jail compared to somebody who is in possession of marijuana. Come on now. And that's, I feel like the the legalizing of it, the only reason why it's being so pushed off is just simply because, I mean, just imagine the amount of people who are in jail for it right now. So if I were to be nominated president, those would be my two biggest things is fixing the justice system, but most importantly, the education system, so you don't have to be faced with the justice system. There you go, BHHS. Oh, I didn't say my name. Mm. What's your name then? It. It's Ariana I Moore. my name, I know. It's Ariana Moore, BHHS. There you go. Thanks for watching. This is What's Good at BHHS.